Any lie is bad, but this one is particularly cruel. To pretend you have cancer, then ask for donations. Alicia Goring thought she'd got away with taking thousands of dollars from friends and family until police came knocking. She just messaged me saying, you know, hey, I've just seen on Facebook that you're going through the same thing I'm going through. Alicia, you lied about having cancer. You took advantage of Monique and took her money and took her symptoms. It was good to know that I had someone there that was going through the exact same thing. There was nothing at all that would make me question whether or not she was lying about having cancer. Yeah. Alicia, you took advantage of a cancer patient so you could keep up with your lies. Would you describe that as a low act? I was diagnosed at the age of 23. Um, it was very unexpected, so it was a bit of a shock. Uh, it didn't hit me till months into my chemo that I actually was diagnosed and had cancer. I had stage 3B Hodgkin's lymphoma. As Monique Bortelli battled her illness, her friend from childhood, Alicia Goring, reached out on social media, claiming to be battling cancer too. We just kind of spoke about our diagnosis, our prognosis, the different treatments and things that we were having and the different types of chemo and things and medicines that we were on. But this selfie-loving social media queen was actually harvesting Monique for information. Police say the Melbourne woman was lying about having stage four liver cancer to swindle cash from those closest to her. Alicia, what did you use those donations for? It's our understanding you went overseas on a lavish holiday. The lengths the 26-year-old went to fool her friends were shocking. In these messages to other women obtained by ACA, you can see the extent of Alicia's lies. She told me that she had to have multiple abortions because she um, fell pregnant and the doctors told her that she was not able to hit the baby because the chemotherapy would harm the baby. You're a cancer con. You lied about having cancer. In what world is that OK, Alicia? She would ask me how chemo was and I'd be like, yeah, you know, it was very good. I'm just, you know, at home. I felt guilty. So it was a lot of the time that we were talking, yeah, she would just make me feel guilty that I was still able to go out and do things, but she would always tell me how bedbound she was. The retail worker even attended Monique's remission party. She showed up here and she told me she was parked around the corner vomiting blood because she had chemo the day before. Monique was among many friends and family who donated to Alicia for her supposed treatment. The young woman would hold fundraising events and friends tell ACA she even had a donation box at her work. All up, police allege she pocketed close to $10,000. I was extremely angry that someone used me and made me feel like that. Alicia claimed she was using the money to travel to Texas to receive life-saving treatment. But a former close friend tells A Current Affair the cancer con woman enjoyed a luxury holiday, visiting Universal Studios, the zoo and splurging at Victoria's Secret. It's claimed she kept up the charade by buying souvenirs from a hospital gift shop for her friends and family. The kind of behaviour that she's showing is fairly consistent with what we call an antisocial personality disorder. And in that disorder, people typically lack empathy, um, they are manipulative, they can be quite charming. Dr Simon Kinsella is a Melbourne psychologist. Look, I think the social media provides a platform where these kinds of people can manipulate other people easily. And I've got no doubt that there's a sense of reward for them in getting the, the feedback and the, uh, seeing the success of their manipulation, if you like. Alicia's lies unravelled when friends began to question her stories, things they believed just weren't adding up. The cancer cheat had gone to the extent of shaving her own head, sending photos of the hair loss to friends, claiming it was a result of chemo. But Monique noticed Alicia's hair was growing back normally. When my hair started growing back, so a lot of patients that go through chemotherapy, they call it chemo kills. Um, and my hair was growing back in ringlets. And I noticed that her hair, when it started growing back, was 
just like my friends and my sister when they'd shaved their head and it was just straight. Complaints were filed with police and last September, Alicia was charged with obtaining property by deception. Here at the Sunshine Magistrates Court, her legal team has repeatedly indicated she'll be pleading guilty to that charge, which carries a maximum penalty of 10 years behind bars. Alicia's family and her boyfriend supported her at a plea hearing in Melbourne yesterday, which was adjourned. Do you think what she's done is okay? Lying about having cancer and stealing people's money? She's just gonna get what's coming to her. It's, it's horrible what she did. Alicia Rose Goring returns to court on the 3rd of July.